When you first meet her, you know that this is a woman who has had to fight, scratch, knife, <laughs> slash her way into having any respect within the orc society and has used basically her wits and her sheer will to survive. And, uh, and then she meets these humans and it softens her and you start to see a more vulnerable side to Corona. In this story, the orcs are just like humans. You have good, you have bad, you have shades of gray. And uh, I thought that was very unique and interesting, compelling. Garona is very adaptable. That is her gift. She can speak many languages. She can live in orc world. She can live in human world. So she's more orc-like in the beginning and then quickly catches on to the humans. But there's still a sense of her that's always orc. So that's always finding those nuances and trying to remember them for every scene. But yes, you see her grow because she adapts to what situation she's in because she's a survivor and that's what you do. We had a great experience working together. We really wanted to create this story with one another and we collaborated quite a bit in the beginning to make sure that it was fully fleshed out and it was a true love story. Um, and so we actually, it was, it was really fun. We had a great time together. There's many layers and, um, and many worlds you uncover in this movie and that's why you go to the movies is to be entertained and, be, and to be taken away. And this movie certainly does that. Did you know that in The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio, a convinced vegetarian, was so in character he ate real raw meat in a scene depicting glass surviving off a wild bison's liver? <laughs> yeah. Click here for more videos. See you soon. Bye.